do a feature with Modell, Tyreek, P5, or Malcolm. Who the fuck? Look how folks look. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just, that's a no, right? I'm assuming that's a no. Hey, folks, talk the fuck you up, holy shit. And I do a feature all the niggas. Yeah, we need that bag. 100 racks. 100 racks of feet. Oh, because they got it. If you do a feature with Modell, Tyreek, P5, or Malcolm. What's up, all the media squad? It's your boy Cookie Package with another one about King Von. Long live King Von. He is gone, but he is never forgotten. This one is about how he is Oblock's unsolved hitter as I call him from, and how he has these, allegedly has these seven bodies on him. Now, as these pictures go through, these are the people I believe are on that list. You know, the first one we have here is Dale Fisher. He was a, a boy that was hit up when he was 16 years old in Woodlawn. And the whole neighborhood after he passed said that he was a uh, Got by King Von. You know, that's how King Von's name really started ringing bells in Woodlawn area. And then the next one here is Modell. He was hit up, I think, again. And all these were in the city. You know, King Von's area is when I say the city. I believe Woodlawn was the area where Modell also was killed. I don't know where P5 was killed, but Von had doing in that allegedly. And now we get to Boss Trell. Boss Trell was a very loved member of STL EBT, and that was only a block over from O Block. Now, the crazy thing is about all these street wars is that all these guys, and they're, they're not even guys yet when they start all this. They're boys doing men's shit though, for sure. But all these guys were friends at one point. You know, that's what really sucks about all this. You know, none of these people are killing strangers at all. But Bostro was another rapper from Chicago that was gunned down. And allegedly King Von had more doing with that one as well. Now this one is Malcolm Stuckey, the infamous murder that happened with King Von and his co-defendant Big Mike, which was Wooski's brother. Wooski from St. Lawrence. And from that point on, King Von was locked up. Now, when he got out, a whole bunch of things happened. I'm just fast forwarding through his life, so don't quote, so don't tell me that, you know, that didn't happen that way, that didn't happen that way. This is just a little summary. Leave your, uh, your input in the comments, though. I'm, I really appreciate it, though. This is Jakira Barnes, AKA KI. Now, this one was a bit different. She was a female, but she was also a, uh, she was a hitter as well. You know, she allegedly has a whole lot of things going on when she was on this earth. And uh, that's another video to come for sure. I'm definitely gonna do it on, a, on a KI. But she was gunned down allegedly by Vaughn. You know, obviously after he got out of jail from the Big Mike situation and such. This is one that happened down in Atlanta was uh, Tyreek. I can't remember his last name off the top of my head right now as I'm doing this, but you know, his definitely name is Tyreek and you can look up all of these cases online if you really want to do your research. You know, do your own work and do your homework. And then the only reason why I'm saying that, you know, he has seven is because when he posted about, you know, the grandson for president stuff, he has seven skulls. And it says, now how many, how many you bitch ass fellas got? You know, I'm not going to say the end word ever. So, like I said, there's seven skulls right there. But, you know, is he just doing this for clout or anything? I don't think so. I really think Vaughn is about that. And, you know, it's just a sad situation. A lot of these guys and females and just whoever... Whoever's growing up in these neighborhoods, in these inner cities, you know, they really never have a chance. You know, everything 
believe is against him in this life. This is just a little one how I believe King Von was Oblox's unsolved hitter. Please drop a like and a comment down there and please subscribe if you're new. And if you're a returning viewer and haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It's free. But if you want to support the channel, go to my cash app and type in dollar sign cookie802vt. That's cookie802vt. But as always, it's your boy Cookie with All In Media. It's all in or nothing. <sighs> copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, education, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use.